back for my next installment of Instagram made me do it. <laughs> no, I need to think of a name for this little series. But I have been buying the products off of Instagram, the ads that, you know, we get all the time, it seems, um, pitching us different random sewing related products. So this is a USB computer mini vacuum. Now, the ad that I saw exclusively showed this being used on a sewing machine, not on a computer. So clearly they have realized that there is like a little sub market that they can sell these to. I love that there was different colors. Of course I chose pink. Um, and there are instructions on the back. So we are gonna set this puppy up and do some cleaning of my machine. Now, full disclosure, I haven't cleaned my machine in more than a year. So. It comes with this little guy and you can see there's like a, I don't know, one of these little things is broken or I don't know what that is. So there's that, but it's got these bristles and they're actually kind of like stiff. And then it's got these little holes in it as well that you can kind of see through those holes. Then we've got this thing. This is made from like a thin plastic. There's a little light, <laughs> um, a fan obviously. And then this little thing is like rubbery. Now, my question is where, like when it sucks everything up, where does that go? This is very cheaply made. I'm afraid I'm gonna break it. Um, two vacuuming cleaning attachments included, two switch levels at the side. I don't see any switch levels. Nope, no switch levels. Um, to turn on the LED light. Mm -mm. No, my light is always gonna be on. Um, press the high power button to increase suction power for vacuuming heavy or dirt and dust. No, I don't have a high power button. It's not on the cord either. <laughs> you guys, the internet is just a mean place sometimes. Um, Use the keyboard attachment rubber to vacuum the dust and other particles trapped underneath the keyboard keys by sliding the squeezable tube between the keys. That makes sense. Use brush and suction tube attachment, which I assume, oh, just goes on like this. You know, um, like Barbie's accessories, that's the kind of plastic that this is made from. So this is how it goes on okay that was pretty easy to handle you just take this guy off and then you can put this guy on and then you can use um this guy too if you want he would slip over like that okay that worked um no external power source plug straight into any usb port okay yeah but i still don't know where do the oh this thing moves so that could be my high power, low power. Um, but where where does the where do the trappings go? <gasps> oh, okay. So <laughs> I've got this thing with a little itty bitty net. So I imagine it just collects in here, and then this little net prevents it from going down into like the fan and stuff. Okay, if you say so. Um, how does this go back on? Okay. All right, she's on. Let me plug her in. Okay. So I've got my little apple brick thingamajig. Plug in this guy in. Yeah. So I think that there's only one, it's either on or off. Um, it does feel like there's like a middle setting here, but it doesn't change it. Okay. Well, it's blowing wind. That feels good. Um, let me take you over to the machine. I'll dismantle everything and we'll see what we can suck out of my sewing machine with this. <laughs> All right, there we have it. I'm gonna start with like the rubber guy.
Okay, the rubber guy is okay. He's not great. Um, whoa. Here is, you know, some stuff left behind. And there's obviously a ton in there. So let's get that. <laughs> That works pretty good. I want to um, switch the attachment. So let me do that and we'll see if we can't get into some of these little itty bitty parts. All right, so I switched it out to this thing. So I feel like with this, it's just getting the fuzzies on the brush, but it's not actually sucking it in. Whoop sucking it in to the things. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, so with the brush, it's just getting the stuff off or onto the brush, which is fine, because that helps dig it out. But I was really hoping that it would, I don't know, suck it up. Like, that's the whole point. I have brushes, I don't need, you know, air for a brush. All right, so now I'm gonna try it with just this raw dog. <laughs> All right, so that's okay. Here's the level of suction that we're dealing with. like hardly any at all. So if you're not getting right up on whatever it is that you're trying to get out of there, it's not gonna budge. All right, that's as good as I think I'm gonna get. You wanna see what we got? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Well, that's both embarrassing, but also awesome. So this is what we got out of my sewing machine with the little vacuum. Look at that. Impressive, impressive. And before you're asking me why is she not taking this plate off, that might make it easier, but I can't get it off. I think whenever they serviced it, they made it so tight and I don't have a small enough, um, a short enough, uh, what's it called, screwdriver. So I don't know how to get that out. I looked for maybe a penny. I genuinely cannot loosen. Oh, I got it. Wow, you guys helped. Thank you. Okay, let me do the other one. Okay, one more. Oh, there we go. Whew. That is no joke. They wanted that to stay on. Okay, now let's see what we are exposed to. Okay. Oh... Okay, okay, okay. Let me put it back together. <laughs> this is way too much fun. Okay. I, I think that might be the point of this thing is to make it so much fun that you want to clean your machine. All right, so we already got this little bit. I'm gonna leave him down here. All right, so that obviously got some stuff. You can see it here. <laughs> um, but it's just not powerful. Um, I mean, obviously it's better than nothing, but I have um, this little thing here, you know, that comes with your machine. And I feel like I can get more done with this, you know, for those like deep, deep, deep down in the crevices kind of situation. I'm gonna get more by just you know, digging this thing down in there and letting it do, letting it do its job. Um, it does still feel oily, so that's good. But see that? Like, I couldn't have gotten that with that machine. So maybe for like the surface level stuff, it's good. But when you're trying to get in here, like in, go in deep. Look, that was from my holiday outfit. <laughs> my holiday sweater I made. You know what I mean? Sometimes maybe you just need to get in here with the nitty gritty and, uh, and you know, do the hard work, do the manual labor. All right, 
there she is as clean as I'm going to be able to get her at home without you know super super special tools all right you guys not a total waste of money um but certainly not the most powerful tool that there is either um so I think I'll hold on to it I'll keep trying to use it just superficially you know whenever I'm just trying to get like the top layer of gunk but for your deep 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 cleaning you're definitely gonna have to find something else um, let me know if you use something at home that works really really well um I'd like to try that too because this is oddly very satisfying to me to clean out the machine <laughs> So, um, so let me know what you use that really works. Um, otherwise, if you don't have anything, you saw how this little guy performed. I don't think it was very expensive. I'll have all that information in the description box for you. But um, I don't know, at the very least. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I can find some other some other use for it. But that is going to do it for me today. Thanks for trying this out with me. Um, I'll see you all very soon. <laughs> Bye.